Let's try 18. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. That is. So now you get the nice purpley effects all over everything. You get the glorious blue. Oh, and then now this. This is Space Vegas right here, baby. <laughs>
and then is times what do we got over here we have six times two so we have 24 times 300 so 24 times 300 7200 petroleum coke per minute oh my god that is insane that is a lot of petroleum coke and we're gonna need that for the amount of recipes that i have that need this including steel i was gonna have the oil being made into there in the section but i thought why not just leave it over here so i can use all that polymer resin with the plastic rubber combo that i got going on here now on to the next thing i got these lovely blenders over here which are looking very nice and spicy all these are overclocked at 200 percent so i can have 200 fuel per minute and i have quite a lot so we have one two three four four times four is 16 32 total 32 of course times 200 percent oh easy math easy life because that is 6400 fuel per minute my next step is where am i going to put the refineries for the plastic and rubber see they need fuel and then they need plastic and rubber so i gotta find a way where i can kind of like interject them together or something like that and then I wanted to leave the space open over here because that is where the train station is actually going to come across and have all this stuff. So let me work on this and see what I come up with for the next step. Oh yeah, check this out. I have a wise idea. Now because I have plenty of power and don't really care about pumps and everything like that, I decided to bring everything up. Now, of course, this is a lot of refineries. 128 to be exact. Now, what happened was I figured out that I need 64 refineries for plastic and 64 refineries for rubber. So I thought because this is 64 on this floor, I could just build the floor up a couple more times. And I think it came out pretty nice i also did a nice little like archway in the middle kept the nice little spires going i'm wondering about putting in like walls or should i just leave it like open to the public kind of thing kept this all the same over here so it didn't extend the only problem is i still need about oh god i think it's like 24 more refineries uh, for the Palmer resin that needs to be taken care of. But everything up here is just to take care of all that fuel that's being made. Also, check this out. So I got all the water under here. Now the water comes over and this is what's being used for the fuel. So I got it nice, neat, and organized. You know, nothing too fancy or whatnot to write home about. But it is pretty organized and cool. Now the other thing is I need to figure out how to grab the pipes from up here bring them down bring them over and then bring them up these little like sideways things that i put they're like little vents or whatnot i got four pipes two going to this level as well as another two going to this level and then the same thing over here as well so yeah that'll be the one two three four five six seven eight because i'm gonna have to combine these together because we're gonna have 400 pipes going up here and I got plenty of pumps and everything, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just kind of curious as to, well, how I'm going to get them over there. So that's a good question. But I thought this looked fantastic and amazing. And of course, I just left the nice archways going across. Oh, it made it look really cool. So yeah, if you look at the front of the building, it kind of looks like a hotel. Like something you'd see in like Las Vegas or something like that. Ooh, that'd be so cool if we could have, like, little water things that, like, spurt out of the ground or something like that. Oh, that would be amazing. But anyway, it's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to have to start putting in some walls because I don't want the lag. One of the things that people uh, might not know is if you cover up stuff. So, like, let's say I take this, all right, and I basically just did a whole entire wall going all like this up to the top. Well, what would happen is this light's little section right here is going to make it so everything behind it is technically in, but it doesn't load as good as it possibly can. So basically, it'll save my rendering because I won't be able to see all this, the shadows, and all that kind of stuff. 
So it's actually a really good idea if you want to cover things up, but of course, we're going to have to design something really cool to match the nice little aesthetics that we got going on here. So let me work more on this and see what I come up with. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Oh, I got, I got an idea for some of this stuff. So just strap in and wait for the fun. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Aww. I don't know if this gets rid of or makes it even better for the nice uh, <laughs> hotel vibe. But I have been working on some of this stuff. And of course, I've been, if we actually come in here, because I can fly, I can show you the world and everything like that. I have hooked up, well, many of belts. I've definitely hooked up the lovely, what do you call it over here? The fuel in the back. Of course, I didn't, you know, actually hook up the bottom part of it. That would have been, I wouldn't say too easy because it's not easy. It's not. I didn't leave myself much room. And that's my problem. But I did figure something out. So if I have 64 lovely refineries making one thing. So this is 64 lovely refineries making plastic. 64 lovely refineries making rubber. So each one needs half as much to make twice as much. So 30 plastic to make 60 rubber. And then if I fly over here and hopefully I pick the right recipe. Yes, 30 rubber to make 60 plastic. So basically, half of this has to go over here, and half of that has to go over here, and the other half goes away into all the stuff that I need. So with that being said, what I did was I couldn't make a full belt, unfortunately. As you can see right here, we got... How many did I have? Oh, yes. Eight. Simple math, right? Simple math, unless you've been building it for like a thousand years. So I'm making a hundred. So if I have eight, that is 800. And unfortunately, the belts max out at 780, which is 20 less than what I needed, unfortunately. But this does work out because what I can do is I can make the four that are over there and the four that are over there. So that half, that half, I'll bring them over, bring them down, and then send them through to take care of these eight and these eight. It's... Well, it's kind of stupid and fun, but it makes perfect sense. And then, of course, I clipped them to make X's because who's who's going to really... I'm showing you guys. Why would I care? Um, anyway, so I couldn't think of anything OCD to set them. Like, I could have them, like, going off, like, right here and then going over and... But uh, I just like the nice X's because it's perfectly symmetrical. And I love my symmetry. But with that being said, I've been working on how I'm going to make each and every one of these. I also make the nice little archways as I make this top part for all these lovely refineries. I got some over here and I got some over there. How many did I have? I think it was like six and six. Yeah. So 12 on each side. All right. And this is making rubber with the polymer resin. And this one over here should be making plastic yes so that way i have the plastic and rubber that i need unfortunately i messed up on the math part check this out so over in my spreadsheet of doom where am i at right here all right so we need 3827 rubber so i wanted to go for the nice steadily 4000 I always wanted to up every single one of these things because why not? It makes it so much easier. So if we take a calculator, I am making 3,200 from the 64 refineries. Then if I add in the Palmer resin, which is only 560 extra, that would get me 3,760 plastic, 3,760 rubber, and you might notice a whee bit of problem so my better thing yet was going to be take the 3200 then i can make my nice little 560 for the rubber and another 560 for the rubber and make 4320 but then i also realized that was incorrect because check this out so you know how i got 12 over here and i got 12 over there well of course you know it because i said it so that is 46.67 equaling 560 total. But as you notice here, plastic needs 60 resin with only 20 plastic. 
Whereas the rubber, if I fly over here and you can see how much lag this is now causing because of all the glass, I only need 40 resin for 20 rubber, which means I will be able to actually make even more. So I figured it out. I figured it out. Check this out. The polymer resin that I'm making is 2,800. Then, of course, we divide that by the 40 for each and every one, which is uh, 70 refiners. And we're not going to build 70 refineries because we have power shards because I'm a dirty cheater, of course. Hey, that just irradiated me. And then, of course, we got to times that by 20, giving us 1,400 of our lovely rubber that we'll be making, plus the 3,200 that we're making, giving us 4,600 rubber and a measly 3,200 plastic. Which is great. Now all I need is to continue hooking things up, figure out how I can make this not look like crap, and add in, oh my god, add in the lovely train stations over here. I love this part of it, by the way. I was building this, and I'm making it all kind of like fluid with all these archways and everything. Really gives it a nice like train feeling to begin with. And then, of course, I put some upside-down ones. Oh, ooh, I gotta show you this. I thought this was genius, and I love it. So I put the double ramp on top of each other. And then we have this nice little fence right here. And, of course, we put a double wall outlet to take care of our blender power. And it goes all the way across and looks fabulous. But I also decided to put these things going down together because I thought it looked really cool, even though I can't, because I can't have them going up or anything like that. But I thought that was awesome. But anyway, back to what I was saying is it looks like this thing was like a rounded edge or something like this, like an oval. And then someone just cut off the edge with like area actions and just deleted it. Every time I see it, it looks like that to me. And I'm like, oh, it looks so unfinished. But anyway, let me continue to work on this and see if I can get more things taken care of and try and figure out how I'm going to do my terrain stations. Oh, this is such a fun build. I, I, I've been waiting for this. Ever since the Pyramid of Power, I've been waiting to build literally anything else. Oh, man. Just, like, flying through here is so much fun. Especially when you get more and more and more. And, of course, you get nice smog in your face. No. No. So I finally got my train stations over here, and they are looking fantastic, paper plastic, cooking for one. Actually, it's coking for one. Uh, then, of course, coking for two, and some rubber. Wait, what did I call the rubber? Was it anything funny? I need this for the video. Rubbing one out. Got it. Nailed it. Definitely good. So I actually love this design right here. This is so cool. So it started with three foundations. And in the middle of those, I just kind of put the quarter, quarter, quarter pipe and some walls. So that's uh, how to do the center part. And then, of course, I just put a quarter pipe in the middle. So the middle part's kind of easy, but this big section right here. So first, you got to put the bottom floor on, no problem. And then you put this floor on, no problem. And then you do that nice little trick where you uh, put one of these on there. And then, of course, you get like a walkway crossing. All right, and then when you go to put that on, see how it kind of like moves it over? Well, if you put another one over here so you can actually have it in the proper spot, you can put it right there. And of course, then this one just goes right behind it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Got that done. So I pretty much just went up, 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 and went all the way to the top. Definitely put a little archways in there so it's holding over. Got the nice little quarter pipes on the side. Oh, this thing just looks so cool. Because basically it's like a giant T-square almost. And it looks just amazing. And I thought that was going to be the end of it. Until I started figuring out how to do some of these lovely belts going in the middle. Ugh, now if only I could fly straight, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm not a junk officer, I, I, I swear. I, off of a sir, I know I've been doing a lot of coke over here. Petroleum coke. If, if you're wondering. So I got all these merged together, which gives me six lovely lines. Then I have them going into the center. And then I had these first four 
can I'm pretty much halfway up there, and then the other one's on the bottom. So what I did is I just had one going here, and then another one going here, then a splitter for these two. Bing, bada, boom, Bob, your uncle, it's done. And then, of course, the other ones just came across the bottom and did the same way, but these are just a little bit lower down. So easy peasy, the only problem is I can't fit the rubber plastic underneath while also fitting the coke underneath. But I was thinking about putting it like up top right here because these are about too high. So I could basically have all the lines coming down here. I just need to figure out how to get them from this middle part all the way over here. Yeah. And I decided to go a little bit higher with the archways. I'm going to bring that back over, and I think that's going to look really cool. Right now, I'm testing out uh, stuff like uh, how much plastic for the uh, polymer resin and whatnot, because I was using up all the lines right here for the petroleum coke. No, wait. Heavy oil residue. Damn it. There's so many things to know. So I was making heavy oil residue, but it stopped making petroleum coke because it was stuck. So, you know, it kind of loaded up. So I've just been throwing some stuff into the resource sink to kind of get it going. You know, to test things out while I make sure everything works. And speaking of making sure everything works, check this out. So I made some rubber. And I threw the rubber into the machines over there in the back end. So then they came over here and then started making plastic. Then the plastic went over here and started making rubber. Until it all just filled up and it looks glorious. I'm loving this. It's looking really good. Oh, oh, and the fuel. The fuel. So some of you might be wondering, hey, Chaos, how did you get the fuel going? Well, I deleted one little bottom part right here, and that let it come down. And then I had everything just basically going down and going over. So this is kind of easy and everything. Nothing too special about that. But then I had to get it over into those spots. And I didn't want to bring it around here or up because I really didn't have any room. So what I did is I just had to go underneath the water and then go straight across. It would have been four lines, but apparently you can't fit four lines in between here. And then I basically have it coming up, going over, and going in. And the same thing with the other one on the other side. So it basically just goes into the line between both of these water extractors. And boom, it's coming down, going in, and going over. Looking lovely and nice. Oh, I love it. Because it's so uniform and so nice. And it keeps everything clean. And that's my whole goal for this build. Is to keep everything clean. Hashtag keep it clean. So that being said, I got to put in another awning over the top over here. Because I think that will look pretty good. And then I got to figure out how to do all the lines going over. Lucky for me, I have everything basically here. Right here. And here. So I can have all the stuff coming down and then maybe going over and going down the center or something like that. I'm going to have to figure it out. But otherwise, everything is looking glorious. Even got some of the walls and everything looking good. So we got a nice, lovely build going on over here. So give me a minute and let me work on the rest of that stuff and see if I come up with anything great. Oh boy, you ready for this? Because we finished everything. And I mean everything. Well, not everything. I have an idea of what I want to do for something else. But I did the train station and hooked them up. I can't wait for us to get some of those, uh, what do you call them? Uh, train stops or signaling. So that kind of crazy stuff doesn't happen. But between the roundabouts and everything else, I think we're doing pretty well. Uh, I hooked up all the trains and everything. And I renamed them some nice boring names because, you know... I kind of want to know what the hell they are, and I'm going to forget the crazy names later. But I did figure out what I was going to do for the plastic and rubber. Whee! So essentially, I have the plastic coming down, and the other one going up. Rubber coming down, and the rubber coming up. And then I have a nice, lovely strip of both of them together. Look at that. That is insane. That looks gorgeous. Now, of course, I would love to hook them together so I'd have them nice, clean, full belts. But, of course, extra is better in this point. Trust me. Because I'm going to need... I mean, in between transportation is definitely when you lose something. So having the extra train lines is really going to help. So I'm going to try and stick with the eight cars and see if I can keep that going for a lot of things. Also, got the petroleum coke hooked up like I had before. I was telling you all that. 
But I finally have everything going, and to test it properly, I had to hook up this monstrosity, which is just a, basically a copy-paste, and then I'm going to delete everything. All this stuff over here, going to delete it. But what does this do? This basically just grabs everything and throws it into some awesome things. Just a couple awesome things, you know, nothing too bad or whatnot. So basically they come over here, they go in, they drop everything off, and all that stuff gets deleted. And I basically can tell my throughput issues and anything like that. So as long as everything is running properly, it's all good. And everything looks great. I love it. I got the way that it looks over here is great. The way it's hooked up. Everything going good. All the rubber, plastic, petroleum coke. Everything is hooked up properly. So the only issue I'm having is someone left in a comment calling this Space Vegas. Well, they actually said call it Vegas because I'm making so much coke and rubber. It's not even funny. So, of course, I'm going to make this into Space Vegas. Look at this thing. It looks like a hotel. It should be Space Vegas. I freaking love it. But, of course, we're going to have to make it more Vegas-y. Now that everything's built, we just need one more thing. One more thing to set it off. And I'm trying to think what it is. I wanted to build like that, like waterfall, uh, whatever it is, it like spritz up. But of course, there's no water physics and stuff like that to do anything about that. Unfortunately, uh, I can also add lights, but I don't want it too bad considering, well, lights lag the bejesus out of the game. So I don't really want to go crazy with that. The other thing is I wanted to see if I could turn this into more of a hotel looking building. So I was thinking about adding in one of my favorite things. So I was thinking about adding in if I go into the like the walls and I get like the wall conveyor. If I put something like this in, this is going to give me that kind of like these are windows on different floors and all that kind of stuff. So I was thinking of putting something like that up on the different floors, uh, maybe getting rid of these and all that kind of stuff. But let me get let me have some time. Finish this up, and then we'll have the pure Space Vegas experience. You're going to freaking love this if I get it right. If I don't get it right, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I like how you can hear the pipes. <laughs> da, 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 da. Wait, it gets better, but we have to wait till nighttime. If only I wasn't a dirty cheater and I could just set whatever time I want. Uh, let's see, set time, um, well, I could go straight for nighttime, which is beautiful. All right, we have Technicolor Space Vegas. Look at this. Oh, my God, this looks so cool. This is so amazing. I got the nice little trees going over here. Actually, hold on, you got to see these things. So we have the nice little pipes that just go around in a big circle and everything, kind of just like twirling up, and then they break off, and then they just come down like little palm trees. Oh, this was a pain in the butt, to say the least, to make, but it looks so good. And of course, uh, if you're wondering why it's so laggy, uh, that could have something to do with these lights. Because they're straight garbo, but they look amazing. Oh, I wish they were I wish they weren't this bad, but they look so good. So we got both trees, and then do you notice how I got like the blue on the bottom? So these ones down here at the bottom, I made these blue. And when they shine off the water or whatever, it just makes the bottom, like, glow. And it looks amazing from a distance or even, like, right up there. But I did notice one thing else. Let me turn these lights back on and I can show you something really good. There we go. We got the red. It's weird how some of these lights... Look at this. So that light is going diagonal and then this light is like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to light. I don't know how to light, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to send it in the weirdest freaking direction. I don't know why. Why is that doing that? Why do these work perfectly like this? But that one over there is like, eh, I don't know how to do life. I don't know how to light. Oh, I feel like there's probably some green ones that do the exact same thing as well. Oh, of course. Like, all those right there are just like, hey, where these ones actually shine out just perfectly. That's amazing. Awesome. But anyway, there's like a specific time of day, and I made this right here just so I can basically sit on it perfectly. Oh, uh, there's a perfect time of day. I gotta figure out what it is. It was um set time. It was like 
really late. I think it was like 16 or something like that. Ah, so that's 4 p.m. Hold on. Let's try 18. Oh my God, there it is. There it is. That is. So now you get the nice purpley effect all over everything. You get the glorious blue. Oh, and then now this. This is Space Vegas right here, baby. <laughs> Wait, we get into photo mode. We'll take care of that. Ah, oh. welcome to space. Ah, oh, there we go. One more little boop because I added a little awnings in the center because I think that really, you know, knocks it out of a park. But anyway, that is going to be it today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. I'm so happy that Space Vegas is up and running. All the coke and all the plastic and rubber in the world. Everything is looking fantastic. Now, if only... Now, if only I didn't have to worry about all this place going bye-bye once they do the update and change everything over here. Uh, if you haven't seen the last video from Coffee Stain, uh, they actually said, you know, uh, this area on the map. I wonder if I can bring the map up. I can bring the map up. It's almost like I have a map. Uh, they said that this area over here is going to be uh, majorly reworked. Not for update number five, but majorly reworked. Which kind of makes me a little bit worried for our Pyramid of Power if that's... Uh, because that's a little close to where we are right now. And if that gets changed up, I don't know what we're going to do. But that is going to be it for me today. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like. Consider subscribing for more amazing vacation fun uh, over in Vegas. Uh, we might go to Utah next. I don't know. Um, we'll see where the world brings us. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be it for me today. I do appreciate all you guys for joining me on this lovely adventure. We've been doing this for 22 weeks in a row. Every Monday, a nice, lovely Let's Play video. So if you like seeing this series, don't forget to subscribe so you can see it every Monday. Same time, same place, same craziness. Same lag, too, apparently, because this is not going away. But anyway, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye, buddy.